The Fairfield Community Schools District is rallying support for April 2nd's bond election vote. They're trying to bond for $10 million for a total renovation and remodeling of Fairfield High School. They will be able to offset the cost of that bond and more in next year's school budget by reducing a couple of other levies. Uh, we're reducing our cash reserve levy uh, and we're reducing our management fund levy by more than the cost of the bonds. So the taxpayers are going to be able to support this project and still get about a 57 cent per thousand or more uh, tax decrease. One of the things that this project will address is accessibility of the building, which is a problem right now. It was important to us not to change the traditional Art Deco look that we enjoy on that south side of our school, but we are removing different levels so that people can enter right on grade, they can enter into a new uh, central services area, office area for traffic flow and security, and then they can move directly into the auditorium, which now is not uh, accessible for wheelchairs unless you go outside the building. This one part of the building has addressed security and ADA accessibility. And there will be some new building that will in turn free up extra classroom space. This is the northwest corner of the building. Uh, the far northwest, that new addition will be science labs. And we'll have uh, two sets of two science labs stacked up on the ground floor and first floor. There are other things we're addressing such as room uh, for our music programs, both vocal and instrumental, uh, locker rooms, wrestling area. Uh, there's, there's quite a bit that we're getting done for the budget. We really feel good about uh, the plan we have. Sadoff stresses those to go vote April 2nd at your nearest voting center from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Reporting in Fairfield, Iowa, I'm Tess Hedrick, KTVO News.